Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Tower Defense Era. My base is 100 million points stronger. Chapter 41 In the depths of the unknown dark world, a strange energy fluctuation suddenly erupted, sweeping away like a tide. At this moment, everyone felt this wave of fluctuations, feeling as if their hearts were being suppressed by the mountain, oppressed and dull, as if they couldn't breathe. At the same time, under this fluctuation, countless disaster creatures hidden in the night were awakened. Ho ho, kaka, massive roaring and roaring sounds erupted in the darkness, as if the sky was collapsing and the earth was shaking. The people stationed at their own base stared in all directions in horror. But the darkness swallowed the light of the entire world, leaving only the faint light of their sentry towers. In the darkness beyond the light, no one knows how many monsters are hidden. At this moment, people who are scattered all over the world and fear the unknown are connected through chat channels. Oh my god, it feels like there are countless calamity creatures hidden in the darkness, it's too scary. My ears are deafened by their roar. It feels like there are ten times more of them than the first wave of disaster frenzy. With so many disaster creatures, can we really keep them? Comma. Countless people vented their horror and worry. Boom boom boom. Tread tread. At the same moment, there was a loud noise from the restless creatures of disasters in the darkness. As if the fuse had been ignited, they began to attack the base that was still alive in the dark. After a while, most people saw a sight that they will never forget. I saw it at the boundary between the white light and the darkness of the sentry tower. Dense numbers of ferocious monsters rushed out of the darkness and launched a crazy attack on their base. When they step into the range of their defense towers, the defensive towers launched a fierce attack. The monsters were killed one by one, but there were more monsters rushing up behind them. Some weakly defended bases were surrounded by violent disaster creatures in less than a minute, like a flatboat in the sea, already crumbling. A base. Zhao Peng looked at the densely packed disaster creatures with horror on his face. A lot, a lot of elite monsters. Outside his base, countless calamity creatures have already approached the city. Although his towers keep shooting, more monsters catch up. Click click click. Gritting and horrific gnawing sounds resounded from all over the base. Sudden. Boom. There was a loud bang. The gate has collapsed. The scarlet eyes of countless calamity creatures were filled with fanaticism and murder, and they rushed into the base. It's over. Seeing more than a dozen disaster creatures rushing towards him, Zhao Peng closed his eyes in despair. At the same time, in the chat channel. The end of the world, the end of the world. In just a few minutes, more than 500 people died. Just took a look, there are only more than 3,000 people in our area, and the number is still decreasing rapidly. Zhao Peng, where's Zhao Peng? Isn't there a projection of the Calamity Gate next to his base? How is he doing? I don't know. I can't protect myself, so I still care about others. Dead, Zhao Peng is dead. He has disappeared from my friend list. Ah, he is also unlucky, the projection of the door of disaster descended on the side of his base. By the way, where is Mr. Su Ming, isn't there two projections of Calamity Gate beside his base? It should be cold, who can withstand the attack of the two projections of the Calamity Gate? Talking about Nima, I looked at the trading platform, and there are other people's acquisition information hanging on it. Hee <laughs> hee, I guess he will die soon. No one can withstand the attack of two projections. Indeed, if he hadn't collected so many resources earlier, he probably would have disappeared long ago. Comma. While everyone was speculating and discussing, the frenzy of disasters became more and more violent. Outside a base, dozens of boulders roared from the towering stone walls. After drawing a parabola in the air, it precisely hit the dense group of disaster creatures. Boom. The huge boulder directly smashed a zombie into a pulp. Minus 987. The damage overflows, instant kill. At the same time, the boulder began to tremble violently. Boom, there was a loud bang. I saw that the boulder exploded directly, and countless fine stones formed a terrifying storm, sweeping and impacting all around. Minus 927. Minus 862. Minus 997. Comma. All the calamity creatures in this area were instantly emptied by the instant kill, and then slowly filled by the monsters that followed. Situations like this are happening elsewhere. These boulders explode immediately after hitting the target. The high-range damage directly wiped out all the monsters in an area. 
For a while, the attacking speed of the Calamity creatures couldn't keep up with the killing speed of the 20 megalithic towers. Too strong, Su Ming stood on the towering stone wall, with a look of joy on his indifferent face. This boulder tower is simply the best weapon to kill such hordes of Calamity creatures. One attack can directly clear a small area of Calamity creatures. Even in some dense places, a huge boulder can kill more than a dozen disaster creatures. Defense is simply not too easy. After observing for a minute, there was no pressure on the defense. He opened the chat channel, ready to see what other people were doing. 2901. Su Ming blinked and saw the number of people on the chat channel. There were less than 3,000 people. You must know that the disaster frenzy did not even hit for half an hour, and the number of people dropped by nearly a thousand. It is estimated that the dead are those whose development is lagging behind. Su Ming guessed. At this moment, messages in the chat channel are being refreshed rapidly. Glanced. Okay, the topics these people discuss seem to be talking about themselves. I bet on a piece of wood, Su Ming will definitely not be able to withstand the impact of the projections of the two disaster gates. Raise, I bet two lumber. What good will it do you if Mr. Su Ming can't defend? Then the monsters projected from the Calamity Gate will attack other people. It's true, God bless Mr. Su Ming to stand up. The boss will definitely be able to withstand it. Comma, everyone was discussing in full swing, and suddenly a message was posted on the top of the chat channel. Su Ming, thank you for your concern, I can still hold on. As soon as the eight-character proverb came out, everyone rushed forward. Boss 666, let me just say, Boss Su Ming will definitely be able to withstand it, and now I still have time to chat. Boss Su Ming, you are facing two doors of disaster, what's the situation now? Yeah, isn't the calamity creature already flooding? Seeing everyone asking questions, Su Ming glanced outside the base. At this time, at the junction of the white light and the darkness, countless monsters emerged continuously. Swish. Suddenly, dozens of huge boulders whizzed out, covering the sky and covering the earth, and smashed directly. Bang bang bang. The violent vibrations continued. After a boulder exploded, a small area was emptied directly. Those calamity creatures had just sprung out, and before they could take two steps, they were smashed into a pulp. As far as he could see, only five or six monsters survived. Seeing this, Su Ming said lightly, It's okay, I only saw a few disaster creatures. Everyone, how many, how is it possible? There is no projection near my base, there are piles of monsters, how could there be only a few? It must be that the disaster creatures haven't come yet. I agree, it should be that the monsters in the door of disaster have not come yet. I don't agree. I think Su Ming's base must have been surrounded by scourge creatures, and he must be holding on. Comma, everyone was discussing with their own opinions. Suddenly, another message was posted. Su Ming, long-term acquisition of special materials and items such as lightning gems and runes, some private. In an instant, everyone in the chat channel saw it, and everyone was stunned. What's going on? Long-term acquisition. Is there really no crisis in your base? Are you sure you can survive? What Su Ming said is true. Could it be that there are only a few monsters attacking his base? How many? I just split open, there are more calamity creatures than this on weekdays and nights. I'm crying, why are there so many disaster creatures outside my base? Is this the prerogative of the boss? Doesn't the boss have to resist the disaster frenzy? Who doesn't know how to brag? I also buy all kinds of special materials for a long time, and some of them are directly private to me. Comma, everyone swiped their screens in the chat channel. In fact, when the disaster frenzy struck, most of the underdeveloped bases were destroyed. The rest of the bases can defend against the attacks of disaster creatures in a short period of time. When Su Ming pinned the last message, he closed the chat channel. Your boulder tower kills the second order berserk zombie, your points plus one oh. Your boulder tower kills the first order iron zombie, your points plus one. Comma, in this catastrophe frenzy, the attacking creatures were of different ranks. Mixed from first to third order. After defending for this period of time, he also gained nearly 3,000 points by killing disaster creatures. The harvest is very rich. And that's not counting those dropped items. Outside the base, there were piles of monster corpses. Beside them, 
densely packed items fell, which made him very greedy. But he doesn't dare to go out of the base to pick it up now. About an hour passed. The incoming monsters gradually became rare, and only a few sporadic ones continued to attack. As time goes by, fewer and fewer monsters appear. It's also more difficult to pose a threat to his base. But Su Ming still dare not take it lightly. He directly moved the rattan chair and lay down on the city wall to rest. I don't know how long it took, but he fell asleep lying on the chair. The next day, when a ray of sunlight hit his face, he gradually came to his senses. Rubbing his sleepy eyes, he stood up and looked into the distance. Outside the base, those corpses had disappeared. Just leave a bunch of items that haven't been picked up yet. Farther away, two black vortexes were still spinning faintly. It seems that the disaster frenzy is not over yet. Su Ming thought about it. After a while, he hurried down the stone wall. Pushing open the iron gate and running out of the base, he ran directly towards the items. Hurry up, otherwise, the ghost knows when the disaster frenzy will strike again. Running with all his strength, he arrived at the place where the item fell in a few seconds. Ding, you picked up a lot of iron ore, iron ore plus 3-0. Oh. Ding, you picked up the lightning rune. About 20 minutes passed. Su Ming returned to the base with joy on his face. Picking up items this time not only harvested lightning runes. Various construction resources are also abundant. Wood, 1400. Stone, 1740. Iron ore, 1550. Open the build panel directly. Constructed 20 catapults. Immediately afterwards, all these sling towers were upgraded. After a few seconds of rumbling, 20 tall megalithic towers stood on top of the stone wall. So far, his megalithic towers are as high as 40, with 10 guarding each stone wall. The defense capability of the base has been upgraded to another level. See if anyone trades lightning gems. Now the lightning tower is only short of gems to build. He is about to open the trading platform. At this moment, a strange phenomenon appeared. Boom boom boom. In the distance, the dust was flying, and dense figures suddenly appeared. Because the distance was too far, he couldn't even see the specific appearance of those disaster creatures. As they rushed, the ground began to tremble slightly, obviously a huge number. Boo! At this time, a strange sound sounded, as if a stone fell into the water, ripples scattered. Boom! In an instant, a huge figure descended from the projection of the door of disaster on the left. It was a huge and burly figure. Standing on the stone wall, Su Ming seemed to be about the same height as him. Third tier raging Torin elite. I saw him with a bull head and a human body, with lumpy muscles all over his body, bulging like fists, looking more like hard stones. In his hand he was holding a wooden pillar that was about the same height as him, but this gigantic wooden pillar seemed extremely slender compared to him. Boo, boo, suddenly, the black vortex rippled again, and huge bodies descended one after another. They are all gigantic Torin. In less than a minute, the projection of the Calamity Gate on the left has gathered thirty burly Torin. Laugh, two scorching breaths came out of their nostrils, and the bull's eyes, which were as big as lanterns, were filled with madness and cruelty, staring coldly at Su Ming's direction. As soon as they appeared, they formed a line and waited in place. It seems to be waiting for the Horn of Charge. Boo! Suddenly, the black vortex on the right side of Su Ming's base also emitted something strange, spinning crazily. The next moment, a huge flying monster surged out. It had four wings on its back, its body was as slender as a snake, and its whole body was covered with scales like black iron. It looked thick and strong, with a faint cold light. Third rank four-winged dragon elite. The moment this flying dragon descended, more flying dragons continued to emerge from the black vortex. In a short while, their number reached twenty. After they descended, they lined up beside the vortex-like tauren, and their snake-like vertical pupils revealed a ruthless and bloody light. For some reason, these flying dragons felt more dangerous to Su Ming than those tauren. At this time, his eyes looked far away. Calamity creatures from afar have surrounded them. Su Ming's scalp was a little numb at the sight of the catastrophe biome. As they rushed, the ground shook for a while, and the noisy roar shook the sky. The battle is about to begin. Su Ming took a deep breath. The disaster biome is getting closer. 1,000 meters, 800 meters, 600 meters, 
Comma. Just when Su Ming was making all defensive preparations, he suddenly saw. These disaster creatures stopped just 500 meters away from the base. It looked like an army, neatly staying in place and motionless. And this distance happened to be beyond the range of his defense tower. What's the situation? Su Ming frowned. Just when he was wondering. He saw that the projections of the disaster gates on both sides of the base began to tremble continuously. The ripples from the two began to move towards each other. Swish. Suddenly, two black vortices moved towards each other. It moved extremely fast, almost forming two afterimages in the air. Next second, the two black vortexes have moved to the front of Su Ming's base. The next moment, under Su Ming's shocked eyes, the two calamity gate projections slowly moved closer together. Immediately, they actually began to fuse together. When the two merged, the black vortex also began to expand. Boo! In less than a minute, a strange sound shook in all directions. I saw that the two black vortexes had merged together to form a huge vortex. At this moment, it was trembling slightly, making circles of ripples in the air. In a trance, the vortex seemed to turn into a huge door of darkness, and an evil and dark aura emanated spontaneously. The inside of the door is as dark as ink, just looking at it is like falling into an endless dark abyss, and even the soul is swallowed into it. This door is, the door of disaster. Su Ming's gaze was burning like a torch, guessing. When he wanted to watch it carefully, the projection returned to the appearance of a black vortex. Boom, boom, dot dot dot. Suddenly, bursts of strange knocking sounds came from the vortex. Obviously the sound is not loud, but it seems to be ringing in the ear. Suddenly, a black mist floated out of the vortex. More and more black mist floated out, and within a few seconds, the black mist near the vortex was like a black cloud. At this time, a thick tentacle of an arm stretched out. Su Ming narrowed his eyes slightly and looked into the distance. Beside the black vortex, the permeating black mist became more and more dense. A huge figure descended in the black mist. But its body was shrouded in black mist, and its true face could not be seen clearly. Suddenly, dense red light pierced through the black mist, and thick tentacles protruded from the black mist, rippling in the air. This unknown creature looks very strange. Su Ming checks its properties directly. But the next moment he was dumbfounded. Opening square bracket question mark question mark question mark. What the hell? Looking at the series of question marks, Su Ming also had question marks all over his face. Unexpectedly, no information about this unknown creature could be detected. Ho ho. Just as this strange creature descended, the surrounding calamity creatures suddenly began to roar, their voices shaking the sky, and their momentum was like a rainbow. Their eyes are full of fanaticism and excitement. Crack. In the black mist, there was a strange sound. It seems to be responding to these disaster creatures, making these disaster creatures suddenly more fanatical. Suddenly, in the black mist, dense red light shone on the tauren. The next moment, as if the tauren had been instructed, he roared and strode out carrying the huge wooden pillar. Boom boom boom. Thirty berserk torrents stepped out in unison, as if a mountain collapsed, the ground trembled and dust flew up. Their walking speed is not fast, but each step is four or five meters away. After taking ten steps, you have covered a distance of forty or fifty meters. And they also stepped into the attack range of the megalithic tower. Swish. Forty megalithic towers attacked together. Two boulders were blasted out in one second. Eighty huge boulders drew a long parabola in the air, and then smashed hard at these torrent. Boom! Facing the boulder bombardment, these torrents smashed the wooden pillars on their shoulders to the ground heavily. I saw two balls of scorching white air spit out from their nostrils, and then the thick muscles like stones all over their bodies bulged. Grabbing the wooden pillar is to suddenly swing towards the roaring boulder. This is to fight against the boulder tower. Su Ming was startled when he saw their movements, but then the corners of his mouth curled up. The next moment the boulder collided with the wooden pillar. With a loud sound of, bang, the wooden pillar hit the huge boulders, which deflected the trajectory of the boulders and did not hit them. And the bodies of these torrent took two steps back again and again, leaving a few huge footprints on the ground, and then stopped. Moo, the torrent roared provocatively, but at this time, Boom! All the boulders burst open one after another. Countless hard gravel swept the explosion area like a storm. Minus 589. 
minus 602, minus 623, comma, all Torin suffer from the passive explosion damage from the stone tower. The countless incomparably hard gravels quickly scratched their bodies like sharp knives, leaving bloodstains on their skin. However, due to their large size, they were not crowded together, and the explosion area of a boulder often only injured two or three Torin at the same time. The stone tower attack isn't ideal. Su Ming stared. This boulder tower is suitable for attacking those small and hordes of disaster creatures. To deal with this huge Torin, the attack of the arrow tower is more effective. At this time, the red light in the black mist turned and shot at the group of four winged dragons. Seeing these flying dragons roar, Su Ming launched an attack from another direction. At this time, he also found something was wrong. This weird black mist creature seems to be able to command those disaster creatures. As long as they are hit by the red light, those disaster creatures will attack as if they have been ordered. Buzz. With one flap of the four wings of these flying dragons, they leapt 20 meters away. This action is much faster than the Tauren. In less than two seconds, these flying dragons flew into the attack range of the giant stone tower. Swish. Some boulders attack them. Dozens of boulders roared towards them. These flying dragons were smashed, and it is estimated that they will be crippled if they don't die. Su Ming looked at their bodies, which were much smaller than the Tauren, and had a judgment in his heart. Roar. Just when the boulder was about to hit them, these flying dragons roared and flapped their four wings vigorously. Their stature suddenly rises. The huge boulder actually brushed past them without attacking them. What? This wave of megalithic tower attacks was completely dodged, Su Ming was startled, and his expression became serious. Swish. At this time, another wave of boulder tower attacks hit them. But these flying dragons used the same method to directly avoid the attack of the giant stone tower. The speed is too fast, the boulder tower can't hit them at all. Unless you slow them down. Or wait for them to enter the attack range of the arrow tower, no matter how fast they are, they cannot all avoid the overwhelming arrow rain attack. Although the ice tower can be used to slow down the speed of the flying dragon, the ice tower has to wait for recharging after it is used. In case of being attacked by a stronger calamity creature during the charging time, it will be troublesome. Su Ming decided to keep it for now. While he was thinking, the Torin had advanced hundreds of meters. Although they are only suffering from the attack of the boulder tower. But their blood volume has only dropped by half. At this time, the group of flying dragons also flew into the attack range of the arrow tower. This is the moment. Boom. There was a strange fluctuating sound from the black mist, and it dispersed in all directions. Immediately, the dense crowd of calamity creatures screamed one after another, their eyes full of madness and cruelty. In the next second, they rushed towards Su Ming's base like wild horses running wild. Whoosh! The four-winged dragon just flew into the attack range of the arrow tower. Countless sharp arrows shot at them overwhelmingly. Ten arrows per second. Hundreds of arrow towers shot out thousands of arrows in a second. In the sky, arrows were densely packed like raindrops, covering all the flying dragons. No matter how they run, they will be shot by the dense arrow rain. The speed of the flying dragon group is very fast, and the firing rate of the arrows is also extremely fast. In an instant, they were about to collide. At this moment, the four-winged dragon flapped its wings, fully spreading the four wings. Then the four wings on their backs rolled forward, directly wrapping their bodies tightly as if wrapped in the wingspan. At this time, they are like cocoons in the sky, and their bodies are protected by four wings that are airtight. Clang, clang, in the sky, countless arrows hit the group of flying dragons, and there was a metallic crash. The sharp arrows hit their four wings, leaving only a little white mark before falling to the ground. After a wave of arrow attacks, these flying dragons were unscathed. But just after this wave of attacks, the next wave of attacks came. Although they cannot be killed, they can only maintain the status quo and cannot attack the base. Although the arrow tower can't break through the defense, it can only attack continuously, keeping the flying dragon group in a defensive posture. Otherwise, once the arrow towers stop attacking, at their speed, they will be able to approach the base in a few seconds. There is no crisis in the sky for the time being. But on the ground, the crisis is gradually approaching. After the disaster biome launched an attack. 
30 Torin quickened their pace and stood at the forefront, blocked the attack of the megalithic tower firmly. For a moment, the calamity creatures behind them moved forward unimpeded and fast. Although the boulder tower can also attack the disaster creatures in the rear, it can't stop the Torin from approaching. Once the Torin approached, just swing a wooden pillar at his base, and a big hole could be knocked out of the base. At this time, Su Ming stared closely at the bullhead crowd, silently calculating the distance in his heart. After a while, his eyes suddenly lit up. It is already controlling the flame tower and targeting the Torin. Next moment, on the fully charged flame tower, the fiery red pattern twisted like a spirit snake, and streams of flame energy gathered towards the gemstone in the middle. Flame Storm at this moment, a dazzling flame burst out from the center of the torrent, blooming like petals, and swallowed most of the torrent in an instant. Fiery air waves rushed towards us. Minus 720. Minus 689. Minus 752. Comma. Every second, a large amount of damage value floats up. In the scorching flame storm, the torrent screamed in pain. Boom. A huge torrent fell to the ground, as if a fuse had been ignited. Within a few seconds, the sound of the Torin's death came continuously from the flames. Your flame tower kills the third order violent Torin elite, your points plus 300. Comma. Boo. At this moment, the black mist creature behind made a strange sound, and then beams of red light shone from it on the remaining Torin. Roar. In an instant, these Torin roared to the sky, their eyes filled with scarlet light. Their bodies shook, and their entire physiques turned out to be a bit bigger. Then, they exhaled two balls of white air from their nostrils, and rushed forward frantically. Each step covered a distance of more than 10 meters. A distance of nearly 100 meters was covered in a few seconds. This made Su Ming's eyelids twitch. If it is not stopped, the base will face a huge crisis in a few seconds. He quickly began to control the ice tower. Next moment. Ice field, is released immediately. I saw the impact of these torrents stagnate suddenly, and large pieces of ice crystals began to appear on their bodies. Several torrents who didn't react instantly slowed down and fell directly to the ground. Seeing this, Su Ming turned his head to look in all directions. During this period of time, both the arrow tower and the boulder tower were held back. The rest of the illagers are close to his stone wall. He turned to look up to the sky. The group of four-winged dragons was still being attacked non-stop by the arrow tower. Scars began to appear on the hard wings at this time. If you attack for a while longer, the attack of the arrow tower will definitely be able to break through the defense. But now it is obviously too late. His eyes flickered, and he began to control the arrow tower equipped with armor-piercing arrows. At this time, the eight arrow towers had stopped attacking and replaced with armor-piercing arrows. Each of the eight arrow towers is aimed at a flying dragon. Emission. Swish. In an instant, the eight arrow towers fired eight armor-piercing arrows that were a circle larger than ordinary arrows. These armor-piercing arrows are all huge and sharp triangular arrows. Under the sunlight, they shone with a cold light. They roared and shot towards the flying dragon. Swish. Swish. Within a second, armor-piercing arrows were fired one after another. In an instant, the eight armor-piercing arrows directly hit the corresponding targets. Puff, the sharp triangular arrow seemed to be shot at the tofu, almost without any obstruction, it directly pierced through the wings of the flying dragon and sank into their bodies. A huge blood hole was left in that wing. Roar. The flying dragon that was shot screamed again and again, and its body began to tremble violently. And the next moment, the follow-up armor-piercing arrows also shot one after another. Puff, the sharp armor-piercing arrows directly sank into their bodies, and even the armor-piercing arrows behind them directly pierced their bodies, and then shot into the body of the flying dragon behind. In the sky, flying dragons suddenly fell to the ground. Your arrow tower killed the third order four-winged dragon elite, your points plus 300. Ten kill alerts sounded. This round of attack was to shoot ten four-winged dragons directly. In the sky, the number of flying dragons was reduced by half in an instant. Just when he wanted to shoot the remaining dragons again. A hurried voice sounded, as if issuing an order. At the same time, streaks of red light suddenly shone on their bodies. Starting commanding again, Su Ming frowned and turned to look. Sure enough, in the black mist behind, dozens of red lights came out, precisely shining on the remaining four-winged dragons. 
Roar. At this moment, the four-winged dragon illuminated by the red light let out a deafening roar. The four wings spread out suddenly, and the incoming arrows were scattered in all directions. Then they didn't care about it, and rushed towards Su Ming's base directly. They were so fast that they almost formed afterimages in the air. Seeing this, Su Ming was not only not in a hurry, but showed a smile on the contrary. In the battle just now, he found out. The bodies of these flying dragons are very fragile compared to their wings. Even ordinary arrows can damage them. I saw hundreds of arrow towers shooting in unison. Thick arrows, like dense raindrops, shot fiercely at the group of flying dragons. The rain of arrows directly enveloped them, no matter how fast they were, they would still be shot by arrows from all directions. Puff, the sharp arrows shot straight through their scales, and the arrows sank into the flesh. In an instant, dense arrows were inserted into the bodies of these flying dragons. A large amount of blood was gurgling out from the wound. One round of attacks has just ended, and the next round of attacks has arrived. Puff, countless arrows sank into the bodies of these flying dragons. Immediately afterwards, their sieved bodies fell powerlessly to the ground. Your arrow tower killed the third order four-winged dragon elite, your points plus 300. Dot dot dot. Ten times in a row, the remaining flying dragons were easily dealt with. Su Ming glanced at Hai Wu playfully at this time. Its command directly made these flying dragons give up their defense and come directly to die. It also saved him a lot of armor-piercing arrows. The crisis in the sky has been resolved. Now you only need to concentrate on dealing with the disaster creatures on the ground. On the ground, countless disaster creatures have approached, less than 50 meters away from his base. They rushed forward frantically, but what greeted them was the overwhelming arrows. As the rain of arrows fell, these disaster creatures were harvested batch after batch like weeds. And the other place, due to the deceleration of the ice tower. Up to now, a group of Torin talents are just about to step out of the ice field. Swish. At this time, eight armor-piercing arrows spun and shot towards their heads. Their huge bull eyes stared at the incoming arrows, feeling a strong threat. Roar. While roaring, their muscles exploded, and they picked up the wooden pillars in their hands and slammed them at the armor-piercing arrows. In an instant, the triangular arrow of the armor-piercing arrow came into contact with the huge wooden pillar. Boom! There was a crisp sound. In an instant, a big hole appeared on the wooden pillar, which was directly pierced. Shooting through the wooden pillar, the armor-piercing arrow didn't seem to be hindered at all, and shot the torrent's head with the sound of piercing through the air. Minus 1,500. Minus 1,370. Minus 1,460. Immediately, blood spattered everywhere, and the Torin who were shot were severely injured. A large amount of blood overflowed from the wound, instantly dyeing their huge bull heads red. And this is only the first wave of attacks. In the air, the four armor-piercing arrows almost formed a straight line and flew towards them at high speed. Puff puff. These armor-piercing arrows sank into the Torin's heads, and shot out from the back of their heads in an instant. Your arrow tower kills the third order violent Torin elite, your points plus 300. Dot dot dot. A wave directly shot and killed eight Torin. Outside the base, there are only five Torin left. The threat is almost gone. In the next second, eight arrow towers aimed at the remaining Torin. Swish. Dozens of armor-piercing arrows shot out from the arrow tower one after another. A few seconds later, the five Torin fell to the ground with a bang, blood holes appeared on their heads, and a large amount of blood flowed out. The huge bull's eyes were all staring round, and gradually dimmed. Just when all the Torin were killed, the black fog behind made a teeth-piercing sound. Squeak. The voice was full of anger, and the thick black mist trembled suddenly. Immediately, a large area of red light was projected on the surrounding calamity creatures. The creatures irradiated by the red light suddenly went berserk, and their physique gradually became larger. Immediately afterwards, Su Ming found that their speed and blood volume had increased by three points. Started to attack the base frantically. However, there is no Torin and Flying Dragon involved. These disaster creatures are vulnerable under the attack of the Boulder Tower and the Arrow Tower. In less than a minute, all the disaster creatures within a hundred meters of the base were cleared, and the defensive circle was still rapidly expanding outward. Seeing this, the black mist creature became more and more anxious and became irritable. 
A streak of red light crazily reflected the calamity creatures around. Can this unknown creature's ability command and strengthen disaster creatures? After this period of fighting, Su Ming also roughly figured out the characteristics and abilities of the black mist creatures. The corners of his mouth curled up. Controlling the flame tower, he aimed directly at the black mist creature. Flame storm. In an instant, a flaming red light reflected the sky red. Although this flame storm is not full of energy, but it can also be eaten in a pot. Su Ming's eyes flickered, and the fiery flames instantly engulfed the black mist creature. There was a chi chi sound from the flames, mixed with the monster's screams and anger from time to time. It's estimated that if you don't die, you will be seriously injured. Su Ming listened to the increasingly tragic scream and guessed. Ten seconds later, the flames gradually dissipated. The ground was scorched black. He looked around, and the next second, his eyes were full of disbelief. I saw that where the flames dissipated, a huge black mist was still floating. Are you not injured? Su Ming stared. Wrong. He suddenly saw that the tentacles of the unknown creature protruding from the black mist had been scorched by the high temperature and were drooping weakly. Moreover, he noticed that the thick black mist had dissipated a lot, and even his face became lighter. The black mist should have a protective effect. Seeing this, Su Ming had a guess in his heart. At this time, he saw that the black mist began to drift towards the distance. Want to escape? Seeing the monster's thoughts, he must not let the monster escape. Otherwise, it will inevitably bring big troubles to it later. At this time, he had already escaped the attack range of the Special Defense Tower and the Arrow Tower. Only the range of the Monolith Tower can be hit, and he directly controls all the Monolith Towers. Aim, attack, in the next second, dozens of boulders shot out. In an instant, it hit its black mist. Then, these boulders exploded with lightning speed. Boom, the terrifying explosion storm directly hit the black mist creature. Every time there was an explosion, Su Ming could clearly see that the black mist creature was trembling slightly. With this wave of attacks, the dense black mist became lighter. Moreover, the movement speed of this black mist creature is not fast. It only ran a few meters in a second, and it was still far away from the range of the giant stone tower. Swish, all monoliths project twice every second. In the sky, these boulders turned into a huge parabola, which smashed hard on the black mist. With every attack, the black mist became thinner and thinner. Gradually, after enduring hundreds of thousands of attacks, the black mist finally dissipated. The creatures shrouded in the black mist were completely exposed. Taking a look at it, Su Ming's scalp felt numb. Floating in the air is a huge meatball. On the meatball, there are densely packed eyes and tentacles. Those huge eyes were full of terrifying bloodshot eyes, and a red light flashed through them from time to time. Level 4000 Eyed Nightmare Elite. Without the Shroud of Black Mist, Su Ming saw its panel. This turned out to be a fourth order calamity creature. The densely packed eyes rolled around, looking very weird and numb, making dense fear people want to hit the wall when they saw it. Without the Black Mist, let's see how you block the attack. In the sky, huge boulders smashed non stop. Just when he was about to attack him, suddenly, five of the nightmare's eyes shot out several red lights. The red light just hit the nearest boulders. With a loud bang, all the boulders suddenly burst open. After the red light was emitted, the five eyes also slowly closed, as if they were in a recovery period. Tackle the nearest boulder, its tentacles swaying in unison. With a bang, it floated into the distance. All the boulders' attacks were in vain. This speed of action is much faster than before. Seeing the change in nightmare, Su Ming's expression became serious. At this moment, the tentacles of the nightmare swayed again and flew towards Su Ming's base. The speed is so fast that it is almost difficult to catch its figure with the naked eye. Every time it swings, it floats a distance of 30 or 40 meters. In an instant, it was less than 200 meters away from Su Ming's base. Su Ming took a deep breath, directly controlled the ice tower, and used the ice field. Immediately, the swiftly advancing nightmare stagnated, and its movement speed was instantly slowed down by half. Whoosh! At this time, hundreds of arrow towers also aimed at it. In the sky, arrows were densely packed like rain, covering the nightmare. Nightmare's big eyes rolled around, and dozens of big eyes suddenly shot red light towards the arrow. Clap! 
These arrows were blasted into pieces by the red light. So strong. What should I do? Su Ming couldn't help but took a deep breath, his thoughts were spinning. The arrow tower and the stone tower's attack have no effect on him. The flame tower is still charging, but even if it is fully charged, with the nightmare's movement speed, it is estimated that it will miss it. After thinking for a while, he couldn't think of a solution. He stared closely at the nightmare. At this moment, one third of nightmare's eyes emitted red light and were closed. In a short time, these eyes that emitted red light should not be able to attack again. Su Ming guessed. Now, the stone tower guards hordes of villagers. The arrow tower can only restrain the nightmare a little bit, but cannot kill him, and he is getting closer and closer to the base. Never let it come near the base. Nightmare must be eliminated. Su Ming lowered his head in deep thought, and opened the trading platform, ready to see if there were any items that could break the game. As soon as he opened it, he saw someone talking about him privately. Boss Su Ming, I got the lightning gem, do you want more? Lightning gems. His eyes suddenly lit up. As long as he gets it, he can build the lightning tower. Want. How could it not be possible? He quickly replied. Yes, how do you want to trade? The other party replied. I'm dying of thirst. I need to change the water. By the way, I need 50 units of construction resources. Su Ming. Yes, the situation was urgent, so he didn't bother to bargain, and spent one liter of water and 50 units of construction resources to exchange for lightning gems. After getting the blue and white lightning gem, Su Ming immediately took out the construction blueprint and the lightning rune. Build a lightning tower. After consuming the corresponding resources, the lightning tower construction blueprint instantly turned into tens of thousands of light points. A phantom of a defensive tower suddenly appeared on the stone wall. A few seconds later, the phantom gradually solidified and shrunk, standing on the stone wall. The construction of the lightning tower was completed, and a translucent light blue defense tower appeared. Lightning tower. Type. Special defense tower. Level. Level 1. Attack method. Ball lightning. Each attack consumes 40 points of lightning energy to launch a spherical lightning at the enemy. After the attack causes high lightning damage, the spherical lightning will turn into a lightning field, causing continuous damage within a range of 5 meters asterisk 5 meters. Attack range. 200 meters. Charge limit. 0 1 thousandths. Minimum charge. 40 lightning energy. Charge per second. 4 points. Introduction. A special defense tower that can gather and use lightning energy to attack. Remarks. Manual attack and automatic attack can be set. The lightning tower is also a charged special defensive tower with the bonus of the charging module. With 4 charges per second, it only takes 10 seconds to launch an attack. Su Ming waited silently. Nightmare is already less than 100 meters away from the base. Although the arrow tower is still attacking, it is still advancing at a speed of 5 meters per second. Time passed by second by second. Just when Nightmare was only 50 meters away from the base. Su Ming took a deep breath, controlled the lightning tower and launched an attack. Ball lightning. I saw that the top of the lightning tower suddenly lit up with a dazzling light, and a circular lightning quickly formed. Chi Chi. The blue-white electric arc kept beating like a spirit snake. At this time, the thousand-eyed nightmare also noticed the lightning tower, and all its big eyes turned towards the direction of the lightning tower, and its expression was full of anxiety. He flicked his tentacles, wanting to stay away. But no matter how fast he was, he couldn't be faster than lightning. Boom. A muffled thunderous sound rang in his ears. Su Ming only felt a flash of light before his eyes. In the next instant, he saw a large group of scorched scars appearing on Nightmare's body. At the wound, there is still a faint blue arc beating. Minus 1408. At this moment, the ball lightning turned into streaks of electric light and spread out. In an instant, the nightmare's body was completely covered, forming a huge lightning field. A series of blue and white lightning flashed continuously. Minus 503. Minus 498. Dot 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 dot. Because everything happened so quickly, nightmare only reacted at this time, his whole body was trembling from the electric shock, his eyes were full of dullness and pain. Whoosh. While the nightmare was unable to move due to the electric shock, the dense rain of arrows had already enveloped him. Puff. 
arrows shot directly through its eyes, and the white pulp kept bursting out. In a second, the thousand-eyed nightmare's body was covered with dense arrows, like a hedgehog. After being severely injured, its tentacles writhed in pain, and it let out a terrifying scream. A few seconds later, Nightmare's countless tentacles fell powerlessly, and its body suddenly fell to the ground. Your arrow tower kills the fourth order thousand-eyed Nightmare Elite, your points plus 400. Dot dot dot. Call, hearing the kill prompt, Su Ming breathed a sigh of relief. After getting rid of the Nightmare, other ordinary monsters are nothing to worry about. Turning his gaze, he saw next to the corpse of the fourth order thousand-eyed Nightmare. White light, green light, and blue light are intertwined together. The items exploded into a large piece. Big explosion. Su Ming stared straight at it, but it was obviously not the time to pick it up. He looks around. During the period of killing the nightmare, the corpses of disaster creatures have piled up like a mountain. Without the containment of elite monsters, these ordinary monsters can't even break through the defense of the giant stone tower. Time gradually passed, and looking around, the catastrophic biota had become significantly sparser. A strong stench of blood filled the base. Whoosh! The black vortex on the front of the base began to ripple and tremble continuously. As it trembled, the vortex gradually became unreal. It's over. When Su Ming was talking to himself, the black vortex finally erupted with a wave of energy, which radiated to the surroundings. Affected by this energy, the disaster creatures began to go crazy, sounding the horn of the final attack. But in the face of the powerful megalithic tower, their attacks are futile. Dash dash dash. Half an hour later, the last handful of disaster creatures were killed, and the projection of the door of disaster disappeared completely. It means that this disaster frenzy is over. Su Ming looked around. Beside the mountain-like corpse, the lights of countless objects flickered. This wave is a bumper harvest. Pushing open the iron gate, Su Ming happily ran out of the base. On the ground, the objects intertwined with light completely attracted his eyes. Walking directly to the side of the thousand-eyed nightmare, a strong smell of blood suddenly wafted into his nostrils, and there was a large pile of viscous liquid on the ground, which looked very disgusting. He holds out his hand. Ding, you picked up the blueprint for making fruit wine. Ding, you picked up a huge pile of stones, your stones plus 100. Ding, you picked up the blueprint for the upgrade of the flame tower. Comma, awesome, all good stuff, the joy of harvest. Every time he picked up an item, the joy on his face became even more intense. After picking up the items dropped by the thousand-eyed nightmare, go to the next location. There are too many things. It took more than half an hour to pick it up. Back at the base, Su Ming burst into laughter. In this wave of disaster frenzy, all kinds of resources harvested are very rich. Now, his resource totals are as follows. Construction resources. Wood. 4520, stone, 5100, iron ore, 4890. Points, 15100. Food, 50 kilograms, drinking water, 60 L. In addition to these gains, he also acquired a whole bunch of rare items. Level 1 Flame Tower Upgrade Blueprint. Arrow Tower Hides Upgrade Drawings. Level 1 Defense Tower Copy Blueprint. Drawings for Making Fruit Wine. Wind Gem 1, Wind Rune 1, Fire Gem 1. A lot of rare items made Su Ming's eyes straight. At this moment, Su Ming's eyes were set on the three blueprints. Level 1 Flame Tower Upgrade Blueprint. Description. Level 1 Flame Tower can be upgraded to Level 2. After upgrading, new attack methods will be unlocked. Construction Resources. Wood, 1000, Stone, 1000, Iron Ore, 1000, Fire Gem 2, Fire Rune Asterisk 2. Unlock new attack methods. Will it be more powerful than the Flame Storm? A few words firmly caught his eye, Su Ming thought expectantly, turning his gaze to another drawing. Arrow Tower Hides Upgrade Drawings. Description. The upgrade blueprint is hidden. After using it, all your arrow towers can be upgraded to more powerful bone arrow towers. Precondition. Arrow Tower 1. Construction Resources. Wood 50, Stone 50, Iron Ore 50. Seeing this, Su Ming only felt his heart tremble. When he obtained the blueprint of the giant stone tower before, he had guessed whether the arrow tower would also have hidden upgrade blueprints. 
Now it seems that there are indeed. Compared with the upgrade blueprint of the flame tower, this blueprint is even more surprising. Because there is only one flame tower after all. But the arrow tower, he has hundreds of them. Just thinking about the huge number made him burst out laughing. But he was not in a hurry, and continued to look at the next drawing. Level 1 Defense Tower Copy Blueprint Description Select any level 1 defensive tower as the copy object. After using this blueprint, you can copy an identical defensive tower without spending any resources. Hiss. After reading the introduction, Su Ming took a deep breath. This blueprint is amazing, it can replicate a defense tower without spending resources. There is no doubt that this copy blueprint is used on special defense towers and the benefits will be maximized. Now, he has three special defense towers. Ice, fire and lightning. Each tower has its own unique effect. Which one should I copy? Su Ming was a little conflicted, and after a while, he decided to keep it. In case a more powerful defensive tower is obtained later, it will not be too late to use it. After thinking about it, Su Ming took the arrow tower to hide the upgrade blueprint, ready to use. But at this moment, a cold notification sound came. Reminder, since the number of people in this area is less than 1000, this area will soon be reintegrated with other areas. Reminder, since the number of people in this area is less than 1000, this area will soon be reintegrated with other areas. Reminder, since the number of people in this area is less than 1000, this area will soon be reintegrated with other areas. The beep sounded three times in a row. The number is less than 1000. Regional reorganization. Su Ming's eyelids twitched. He quickly opened the chat channel. At this point, the number of people displayed on the channel has changed. 908 10 thousandths reorganization countdown, 5 o'clock. Su Ming exclaimed, before this wave of disaster frenzy, the number of people in their area was still more than 3,000. Now there are only more than 900. The death rate is so high. At this time, he focused on the chat message. There are only more than 900 people. This disaster frenzy is too terrifying. Who said it wasn't? This wave directly took away 3,000 people. Wow, I survived, it's too difficult. This catastrophe frenzy is too fierce, and the number is several times higher than the previous wave. I managed to defend it with great difficulty. The area will be reorganized in just over 4 minutes, and I'm looking forward to it. I just took a look, and the information of Mr. Su Ming is still at the top. It's so awesome. Indeed, in the face of the attack of the projection of the two disaster gates, he is still alive and well. Comma. In the chat channel, discussions among those who survived were in full swing. Five minutes passed by as they chatted. Reminder. This area has been integrated. Reminder. This area has been integrated. Region integration is complete. Everyone looked at the regional channel in surprise. The vast majority of areas have been reintegrated to 10,000 people. The regional channel became lively in an instant, and one message after another was refreshed quickly. Wow, the number of people in our area has become 10,000 again. So much information, I can't read it. I'm actually in the same area as Boss Owen. Comma. Waves of news swiped through. Reminder. After the regional reorganization, the regional leaderboard has been opened. The regional leaderboard is the cumulative kill leaderboard, which is based on this disaster frenzy. The leaderboard only shows the top 10 information, but you can check your own ranking. The leaderboard is updated once a day and is settled once a week. The top 10 will receive generous rewards. The prompt appeared and everyone saw it. Have you opened the leaderboard? Leaderboard, I'm definitely in the top 10. I'm crying, why am I ranked 5780? Comma. Another wave of news flashed by. Many people also opened the leaderboard one after another. After looking at their own ranking first, they set their sights on the top 10 people. From top to bottom are. First place. Su Ming, number of kills, 10,511. Second place. Owen, number of kills, 1804. Third place. Meng Shuier, number of kills, 1779. Fourth place. Yin Huan, number of kills, 1737. Fifth place. Lujo, number of kills, 1685. 10th place. Daiki Fujino, number of kills, 1208. 
After everyone watched the top 10 rankings, the entire regional channel fell silent. Number of kills, 10,511. Everyone's first reaction was that they misunderstood, how could the number of kills of more than 1,000 be ranked first? But they counted, 1, 2, 5 digits. The number of kills exceeded 10,000. My eyes are blurred, Su Ming's kill count is more than 10,000, alas, why is no one talking? A message popped up on the chat channel, as if a fuse had been ignited, and the entire regional channel exploded. I counted it three times, it's more than 10,000 kills. It's outrageous, nearly 8,000 more than the second place. It's more than that, the number of monsters killed by Su Ming is almost the sum of the other nine. Is this the first boss Su Ming who upgraded his base to level 2? It's too exaggerated. It's unscientific. The second place Owen is the leader in our region, and the base has also been upgraded to level 2. People in other districts may not be aware that Boss Su Ming is defending two disaster gates by himself. 2. This is too outrageous. Is no one wondering how strong Su Ming's base defense should be to kill tens of thousands of monsters in the disaster frenzy? I'm afraid Boss Su Ming's base has hundreds of defensive towers. Killing so many calamity creatures, no wonder he doesn't lack resources. Comma. In many people's minds, people at Owen's level already belong to the top bosses. The people behind him had the same number of kills as he had bitten them to death. But Su Ming's kill count is too exaggerated. Completely crush everyone. And the number of monsters killed also determines the number of items dropped. The number of monsters killed exceeded 10,000, and everyone dared not even think about how many items those monsters would drop. I'm afraid Su Ming's resources are already exploding. In fact, everyone knows that Su Ming is the first to upgrade the base to level 2. Many people believe that Su Ming is at best a little bit ahead of the curve. But after seeing the intuitive data, they were stunned, envious, and jealous. Being able to defend against the impact of tens of thousands of disaster creatures, the development level of his base is beyond what everyone can imagine. At this moment, everyone was completely shocked by Su Ming based on the intuitive data. Dash, Su Ming. Owen stared closely at the names on the leaderboard, his eyes flickering. How could there be such a big gap? After Su Ming upgraded his base, he also upgraded his base in the next two days. At that time, he was the only level 2 base in the entire area. I thought my development was already very good. Unexpectedly, the gap between himself and Su Ming is like an insurmountable moat. He couldn't imagine how Su Ming could defend against the attacks of tens of thousands of disaster creatures. He built 50 level 2 arrow towers and 50 level 2 sling towers, and even a special defense tower, which he managed to hold. How far has his base developed? Owen sighed, looking downcast. Dash, at another base, a delicate-looking girl stared blankly at the leaderboard. After a long time, Meng Shui's eyes flashed with splendor. My god, the number of kills has exceeded 10,000. Su Ming, that's too good. It feels like nothing can surpass him. A strong sense of frustration rose in Meng Shui's heart. Even the joy of having just harvested two blueprints for the construction of defensive towers has been diluted. After a while, he looked at the second place and waved his fist with a look of fighting spirit. HMPH, if I can't compete with Su Ming, I can't compete with you. Su Ming watched all this silently. He also didn't expect that there would be a leaderboard in the regional integration, which would indirectly expose his strength. However, he didn't care, he was more concerned about the weekly settlement rewards. After a while, he closed the chat channel. A construction blueprint was held in his hand. Chapter 51. The Arrow Tower Hides the Upgrade Blueprint. After use, the Arrow Tower can be upgraded to a Bone Arrow Tower. Su Ming used it directly. I saw that the blueprint turned into thousands of tiny light spots, covering towards the Arrow Tower. At this moment, Su Ming randomly clicked on the panel of an Arrow Tower, and there was already an extra column. It can be hidden and advanced to the Bone Arrow Tower. Advanced consuming the required resources, advancing. Boom. Along with the roaring sound, Su Ming saw that the arrow tower was gradually enveloped by a ball of white light. At the same time, a huge phantom of the defense tower appeared. As time went by, the phantom became more and more solidified and shrunk. After half a minute, the white light disappeared, 
a phantom appeared, and a brand new arrow tower appeared on the stone wall. A bone arrow tower has been built. The appearance of the white bone arrow tower is completely different from other arrow towers. I saw that it was all white, and the white bones were randomly inlaid on the body of the tower, but it had a messy beauty. Moreover, the attributes of this arrow tower have been completely transformed. Bone arrow tower. Attack power. 250 to 300. Attack range. 200 meters. Attack speed. 10 times s. Passive. Bone power. After killing an enemy unit, there is a certain chance that the opponent's corpse will be transformed into a bone warrior, and you will control the battle. The strength of the bone warrior is related to the strength of the killing unit. Module bonus. Second order splash, 10 times attack speed, 5 times damage, 3 times range. Compared with ordinary arrow towers, the bone arrow tower not only doubles the attack power. And there is one more passive, the power of bones. From the text description, he can also feel the abnormality of this skill. After killing the opponent, its corpse may be transformed into a bone warrior for his use. It's just that he can't intuitively feel the passive effect now. But the doubling of the attack power alone has already made the bone arrow tower crush the ordinary arrow tower. Immediately, he reserved some resources and directly upgraded 49 bone arrow towers. On the stone wall, vibrations roared. Less than a minute. Tall and dense bone arrow towers stand on the city wall. Now, the group of arrow towers on his stone wall has two completely different painting styles. The white bone arrow tower is gray and white, and the ordinary arrow tower is as black as iron, giving people a strong sense of contrast. He took out the upgrade blueprint for the flame tower. At this time, he was short of one fire gem and two fire runes before he could build it. Su Ming is looking forward to the new attack methods that can be unlocked after the flame tower is upgraded, so he reserved a part of the resources just to upgrade it to level 2. He opened the trading platform, and immediately there was a lot of transaction information. After regional integration, the surviving people are relatively strong, and many people have just finished fighting the disaster frenzy, and many people have gained a lot. Most people start selling their useless items in exchange for other useful items. Su Ming was browsing to see if he could find anything useful. Ding ding. Suddenly, his private message bar started to flicker. He opened it and found that it was a message from a girl named Meng Shui. When Su Ming saw this name, he felt like he had seen it somewhere before, and suddenly he remembered, isn't this girl the third one on the ranking list? To be able to rank third in the competition of 10,000 people must be capable. Meng Shui. Boss Su Ming, I read your transaction information. I have the fire rune and the ice gem, which can be exchanged. Su Ming frowned and smiled. Finally someone came to trade items. Su Ming, I need both runes and gems. How do you want to exchange them? Water, food or construction resources? Meng Shui, just finished fighting the calamity frenzy, these things are not in short supply for the time being, is there anything else? Seeing this, Su Ming frowned slightly, not missing anything. This is the first time Su Ming has encountered such a situation. But after thinking about it, he suddenly realized that this girl can kill more than a thousand calamity creatures, and she should also harvest a lot of items. He thought about it for a few minutes, and Su Ming realized that, apart from the few items mentioned earlier, he really didn't know what items could be traded with. Su Ming, what items do you need? There was no other way he could only ask about the other party's needs. If he didn't have what she asked for, he could only slowly find someone else to trade with. Meng Shui. Well, do you have refined iron? I need 50 refined iron to make things. Refined iron. Su Ming breathed a sigh of relief. Although there is no one now, he can go to the smelting furnace to create it. He replied, Su Ming. Yes, let's exchange 50 refined iron for gems and runes. Meng Shui. No, 50 refined iron can only be exchanged for one item. Su Ming shook his head. You need to know that 50 fine iron needs 250 iron or to extract, it is impossible to exchange only one. In this way, I will give you 10 armor-piercing arrows as a gift. He added, and sent the effect of the armor-piercing arrow to the opponent. You also know that as time goes by, the calamity creatures that appear become more and more powerful. 
it is difficult for ordinary arrows to deal with those monsters with high defense, and armor-piercing arrows are specially designed to deal with them. The deal with Meng Shui -er also opened up Su Ming's thinking. In addition to food and construction resources, he can also trade special items forged. Just like armor-piercing arrows, no one can make them except him. He can use this time difference to trade some more precious items. Moreover, armor-piercing arrows are one-time items. Unless there are blueprints, they will be gone after use and can be traded for a long time. A few minutes later, the other party sent a message. Meng shui -er. Yes, but I have a request. In the future, I will give priority to trading armor-piercing arrows with me. Su Ming. No problem. He agreed, and then went to the smelting furnace to refine refined iron and make armor-piercing arrows. Two hours later, the transaction was completed. He managed to get the fire rune and the frost gem. With the frost gem in hand, Su Ming also held a blueprint in his hand. Refrigerator building drawings. Crafting needs. Wood. 50. Iron ore. 50. Iron ore. 50. Ice gem 1. With the frost gem, you can create a refrigerator. Build. After he used the blueprint, the blueprint instantly turned into a white light. After a while, the refrigerator was built. Inside the house, a square box appeared, the surface of the box was engraved with stripes and stripes, and there was a blue gem in the middle that was emitting a faint light. Stretching out his hand to touch it, he felt a cold sensation. There was a handle on the box, and Su Ming opened it. It is empty inside, and things can be placed there, and the temperature inside is slowly dropping. Su Ming learned before that this thing has similar functions to a refrigerator. He put a glass of water in it. About half an hour later, he turned on the refrigerator, and suddenly a gust of cold air hit him. He took out the cup, the water in the cup was already ice cold, he raised his head and gulped a big gulp, the cold feeling spread throughout his body along the esophagus, it was very cool. With the cooler, you can drink ice cold drinks. Suddenly, he slapped his head, thinking that he had obtained two blueprints before. Drawings for making rice wine. Raw material requirements. Wheat 500 grams, water 1 L. Drawings for making fruit win. Raw material requirements. Fruit 3, rice wine 500 milliliters. Su Ming is very interested in fruit wine, but to make fruit wine, rice wine needs to be produced first as a raw material. Fortunately, there are all the ingredients for making rice wine. He prepared the raw materials for rice wine. With the drawings, the rice wine was quickly made. With rice wine, fruit wine can be made. As for the fruit of the raw material, it can be solved with spiritual fruit. An hour later, a charming smell of wine came from the house. Smells good. Su Ming took a deep breath, feeling very intoxicated. I saw that the glass was filled with a glass of crystal clear fruit wine, about 500 milliliters. Perfect spirit fruit wine. Description. Made from lingon fruit, it tastes sweet and delicious. Drinking it for a long time can improve your health. At the same time, the manufacturing method and process are perfect, and the taste and effect are better. Su Ming's throat rolled, he picked up the cup and took a sip. Slightly sweet in the mouth, there was a strong aroma, the wine rolled around in the mouth, swallowed slowly, and a mellow wine taste reverberated between the lips and teeth. Good drink, good wine. After taking a sip, Su Ming's eyes and Shendu brightened, he could smell a slight fragrance in his breath, and his cheeks felt slightly hot. Immediately, he turned on the refrigerator and put the glass of spirit fruit wine in it. You can drink iced fruit wine later. While waiting, he continued to make. It took half an hour to make a large jar of rice wine. Afterwards, he began to make tirelessly again and again. Moreover, during the production process, he realized that the quality of fruit wine is not the same. There are normal quality, fine quality and perfect quality. The perfect quality spirit fruit wine is the most fragrant and the best to drink, the next best is the excellent one, and the ordinary one is very mediocre. The taste is completely incomparable with the perfect quality one. An hour later, ten small jars of fruit wine appeared on the table, each about 500 milliliters. Among them, perfect spirit fruit wine 3, exquisite spirit fruit wine 3, ordinary spirit fruit wine 4. After the production was completed, Su Ming also relaxed. He took out the spirit fruit wine that had been chilled for a long time, raised his head and took a sip. A cold feeling echoed in his mouth, mixed with a strong aroma, he swallowed it in one gulp. 
It's icy cold. After a while there was a slight burning sensation. The two temperatures fluctuate alternately in the body, this feeling is simply beyond description. After taking a sip, Su Ming couldn't help but take another two sips. He felt that his breath was mixed with a faint smell of wine, and at the same time his head was a little dizzy and a little drunk. This wine is absolutely perfect. Just a little over the top. Su Ming smiled and shook his head. After making fruit wine for so long, it is almost evening. He also started to prepare dinner. Take out the grill and start a fire. Iced fruit wine with barbecue, perfect. After half an hour, the ingredients are ready. He directly grabbed a large handful of meat skewers and vegetarian skewers and put them on the grill. A few minutes later, a strong barbecue aroma came from the house. After a while, the barbecue was finished, and Su Ming had already moved his index finger. Pick up a skewer of meat, and go straight to the meat. The meat skewers are charred on the outside and tender on the inside, delicious. Chew it a few times and swallow it straight away. Immediately afterwards, he picked up the fruit wine and took a sip. Cool, Su Ming sighed. Then, he took a sip of fruit wine after eating a few skewers of barbecue. In less than 20 minutes, a plate full of barbecue was cleaned up, and a large glass of fruit wine was drunk. At this time, Su Ming was already slightly drunk, his head was a little dizzy, and his body was light and light, as if facing a cloud. After resting for half an hour, he gradually woke up. When the refrigerator was turned on, a strong aroma of wine filled the air. He couldn't drink so much wine. He opened the trading platform and decided to trade the excellent and ordinary spirit fruit wine. Seller. Su Ming. For sale. Excellent spirit fruit wine 200 milliliters. Stock. 7. Dot dot dot. Seller. Su Ming. For sale. Ordinary spirit fruit wine 200 milliliters. Stock. 10. After putting it on, put it on the top directly. In an instant, everyone saw the message. At a base. Meng Shui's eyes were full of surprises. In her hand, she held a delicate and small crossbow, and there were ten slender crossbow arrows beside it. After trading with Su Ming, she finally got together the materials for the crossbow and made it. The crossbow was very light in her hand. After playing with it for a while, she put a crossbow bolt in the arrow slot. Aim at a boulder in the distance and pull the trigger. Emission. Call out. A crossbow arrow was fired. The speed is as fast as the wind, and it hits the stone in a blink of an eye. Boom, I saw that the hard stone was like tofu, it was shot directly by the crossbow arrow, half of the arrow body entered. It's very powerful, seeing the power of the crossbow arrows, Meng Shui was delighted. It is not in vain that she spent so many resources to create it. It's a pity that every crossbow arrow needs refined iron. Oh. It seems that we can only exchange refined iron with Su Ming in the future. Meng Shui sighed. She plans to trade some refined iron and make more crossbow bolts. Open the trading channel. Suddenly, she saw the top message. Excellent spirit fruit wine. Seller. Su Ming. Remarks. The fine iced fruit wine can beautify the skin and strengthen the body. It is absolutely not to be missed. Can Su Ming make wine? Meng Shui was shocked. You know. Killing monsters can only burst drinking water, and if you want to drink, you can only collect blueprints to make it yourself. And this wine can also beautify the skin. Do you want to try? As soon as she had this thought, Meng Shui couldn't control her hand. Initiate transactions directly. After a while, a scent wafted from her house, like the aroma of fruit and wine. Smells good. Wow, it's still ice cold. He took a sip lightly. The entrance is sweet, and the rich aroma lingers between the lips and teeth. It's too delicious. Another base. Owen cut out a thin slice of raw meat with a knife and put it in his mouth. The sliced meat had a fishy smell, and as he chewed, a sour taste kept hitting his taste buds. After chewing a few times, he frowned and swallowed it in one gulp. By the way, I took a big sip of water to dilute the unpleasant taste in my mouth. This piece of meat is really unpalatable. While complaining, he opened the trading platform to see if there was any other food. Sudden, when he saw the top message, he opened his mouth wide. Oh my god, someone is actually selling fruit wine. Oh, Mr. Su Ming, you are so amazing. Owen was shocked and swallowed involuntarily. As an old alcoholic, he felt the alcohol bug in his belly start to attack. 
Deal. Must trade. Oh my god. Sold out. Impossible. Owen looked annoyed, and at the same time he became addicted to alcohol, feeling like ants crawling all over his body, which was very uncomfortable. It's sold out. What should I do? By the way, Mr. Su Ming must still be there. He hurriedly private messaged Su Ming, and after sending the message, he fixed his eyes on the private message column. Mr. Su Ming, please reply quickly. After waiting for 10 minutes, the other party did not reply, and Owen was impatient. By the way, you can also buy it from other people. Comma. At night, many boring people are spending time in the chat channel, and they are discussing a problem hotly. Boss Su Ming is selling fruit wine. Where did he get the wine? Did he brew it himself? It must be brewed by myself, otherwise where did it come from? What a luxury. The raw materials needed to brew fruit wine are not simple, and it is too wasteful to use them to make wine. Is this the number one boss? I love it. I want to drink a long time ago, brothers, bye, bye, bye. While everyone was discussing, someone had already bought spirit fruit wine and drank it. After a while, many people who bought wine posted their post-drink testimonials in the chat channel. I'm not bragging, this spirit fruit wine is the best wine I've ever had. The most important thing is that this fruit wine is still chilled, can you believe it? Woo, the amount is too small, I couldn't hold back, and drank it all in one gulp. You said I'm an alcoholic. Your hand speed is too fast, it will be gone in less than a minute. Everyone was chatting happily when suddenly a message popped up. Owen, guys, whoever bought the excellent spirit fruit wine and didn't finish it, I will buy it at a high price. Mist grass. Isn't this the number 2 leader on the ranking list, and he is also interested in spirit fruit wine? Haha, ha, it seems that Boss Owen can't resist the temptation of fruit wine. Um, I still have 100 milliliters of ordinary spirit fruit wine, do you want it? Owen, yes. After a while, Owen finally traded the fruit wine he had been thinking about. The wine in the glass is crystal clear and has a charming aroma. Goo, Owen swallowed, carefully picked up the cup took a sip, narrowed his eyes and savored carefully. The fruit wine entered the mouth, and the tongue rolled the liquid in the mouth, and suddenly, the mouth was full of sweetness. It is a little spicy in the throat, but it is very gentle, and because it is chilled, it is very refreshing after drinking. A minute later, he slowly recalled it, and his eyes were full of satisfaction. Oh my god, the ordinary spirit fruit wine is so mellow, how about the fine ones? Owen sighed opened the chat channel again, and began to private message Su Ming. The next day, Su Ming woke up from the rosewood bed. After drinking the perfect spirit fruit wine last night, I fell asleep after lying down for a while. I slept soundly this time and woke up full of energy. Open a chat channel. Ding ding ding. As soon as it was turned on, Su Ming was startled when a series of notification sounds came. In a blink of an eye, I found that my private messages had exploded. What's going on? Puzzled, he opened the private message. Many people have messaged him. He scanned around, and these people were basically begging for spirit fruit wine. Su Ming is happy, is this spirit fruit wine so popular? In particular, a man named Owen sent him dozens of messages. However, there are only a few jars of perfect spirit fruit wine, and he plans to keep them for himself. One by one, these people who bought spirit fruit wine were rejected. After trading 17 servings of spirit fruit wine, he also got a lot of items and resources, and even got a wind gem, which was beyond his expectations. It seems that people who have lived to this stage basically have no shortage of basic living materials. And those slightly extravagant items with enjoyment attributes have begun to be sought after by many people. Su Ming immediately realized that people's needs were changing at this stage. Next, he also leaned in this direction, trying to add value to the basic items in order to obtain more benefits. Then, he started to solve today's breakfast. The breakfast was very simple. After eating a big bowl of noodles, he lay comfortably on the wicker chair and basked in the sun. At this time, he was holding a blueprint in his hand, the blueprint for building a storm chariot. Now, 50% of his arrow towers have been upgraded to white bone arrow towers, and his defense ability has been upgraded to another level. There is no need to worry about the security of the base for the time being. Building chariots is currently the most cost-effective development plan. 
With the chariot, there is an extra route of retreat. Even if the base is destroyed, you can still survive in the chariot. Moreover, you can also drive a chariot to explore the world. It's just that there are a lot of materials missing at the moment. There are two gems and two runes each, and Mithril is missing. And the power imprint can be exchanged for points, which is not lacking. He opens the trading platform. After the regional reorganization, the previously pinned messages disappeared. He needs to re-edit the transaction information release. A minute later, the transaction information was released and he posted it on the platform. Seller. Su Ming. Requirement. Mithril 100. Wind Gem 2. Wind Rune 2. Remarks. Those who have materials can chat privately to trade items. People who were on the trading platform saw his news in an instant. In less than a minute, someone chatted privately. When I opened it, it turned out to be an acquaintance. Meng Shuiir, I have wind gems, which can be exchanged for 30 refined iron. Su Ming shook his head. No, last time runes and gems were only 50, so only 25 refined iron. The other party was silent for a moment. Meng Shuiir, you really know how to do business, 25 refined iron is 25. The two sides agreed, and after Su Ming refined 25 refined iron, he got a wind gem. During this period, Su Ming also paid attention to the chat channel from time to time. After the regional reorganization, many people got a clue about the disaster crisis and discussed it one after another. As we all know, disaster creatures will become stronger and stronger as time goes by, so everyone must try to develop the base and improve defense capabilities. Yeah, just take the two calamity frenzy as an example. The second frenzy is obviously much stronger than the first one, and the difficulty of defense has increased in a straight line. What you said above is correct. Otherwise, why would so many people die? Those who are backward in development are all eliminated. From this point of view, the third disaster frenzy must be even more difficult. Indeed, survival is getting harder and harder. Everyone analyzed the situation, and they were all a little worried. Immediately afterwards, Someone asked him how to solve it. Everyone knows what you said, but let's talk about how to develop the base. Big bosses with rich resources don't worry about defense at all, civilians like me can only tremble in front of disaster creatures. Indeed, who doesn't know how to talk about it, let's talk about it practically. What else can I do, kill more disaster creatures and explode more item development bases? It's just farting upstairs, it's the same as not saying it. Then what do you say? This is not easy to handle. Hurry up and find Mr. Su Ming. You can use some special items to exchange for more construction resources and strengthen the defense of the base. That's right, anyway, you don't have the resources to create some special items, so you might as well trade the built-in resources and build more defensive towers. What you said seems to make sense. Su Ming, who was following the chat channel, silently sent a sentence. Makes sense plus one. Comma, the transaction is successful, you get Wind Gem 1. The transaction was successful, you got the Flame Rune 1. Ten minutes later, Su Ming completed two transactions. He sighed for a while, it seems that everyone had hidden good things before. After this transaction, not only is he one step closer to building a chariot, but he is also about to gather the resources to upgrade the Flame Tower. After these two transactions, at present, the chariot materials are only short of wind gem asterisk 1, wind type rune asterisk 2, and mithril. But in the next period of time, many people sent private messages one after another, wanting to trade with him. Su Ming was shocked, these people turned out to be hoarding so many good things. However, he only chose the materials for trading chariots. The transaction was successful, you got the wind rune 1. The transaction was successful, you got the wind gem 1. The transaction was successful, you got the wind rune 1. After a few minutes, the transaction is complete. The storm gem and storm rune are enough, the only thing missing is refined iron and mithril. He thought for a while, walked towards the smelting furnace, and put a pile of iron ore into it. Iron ore is turned into iron juice in the smelting furnace, and refined iron is slowly extracted. During this period, he continued to pay attention to the trading platform from time to time so as not to miss some information. An hour later, Su Ming has been standing by the stove, the fire reflected his face flushed. 
Iron ore smelting is complete, your refined iron plus 2O. After collecting the refined iron, he put it into the iron ore again. Immediately, he opened the trading platform again. At this moment, he saw private messages flashing continuously. When he opened it, he saw a familiar name, Owen. Owen, Mr. Su Ming, ever since I drank the spirit fruit wine you brewed, I have never forgotten it. Su Ming laughed, does this guy want to trade fruit wine again? But he still wanted to keep the spirit fruit wine for himself, so he kept refusing it. Just as he was about to reply, the other party sent another message. I saw that you were buying mithril, and I happened to have it. Su Ming immediately lifted his spirits. Mithril said it earlier. Didn't I trade with you earlier? Su Ming, I need 100 units of mithril, do you have it? As soon as the message was sent, the other party replied with a happy tone. Owen, haha, no more, no less, exactly 100 mithril. Seeing this, Su Ming was overjoyed and directly sent a picture. Su Ming, perfect spirit fruit wine picture. It took a while before the message from the other side was filled with shock. Owen, oh my god, I can't believe it, Mr. Su Ming, you still have perfect quality spirit fruit wine, I can't wait to taste such delicious fruit wine. As soon as Su Ming read the news, the other party initiated a transaction. Owen, trading item, 100 mithril. Requirement, perfect spirit fruit wine 500 milliliters. So urgent, Su Ming was stunned. Do you agree with the current transaction? Agree. A few seconds later, 100 units of mithril were in hand. At the same time, Su Ming saw that the other party had remained silent, probably going to wine tasting. The only thing missing now is the refined iron and the power imprint. Su Ming pondered, and then opened the points mall. Power imprint. 5,000 points. Looking at the expensive amount of points, even if he has tens of thousands of points, he still feels a pain in the heart. Exchange. You got the power mark 1. After gritted his teeth and exchanged the imprint, the only thing left now is refined iron. It is not a problem at all to smelt iron ore continuously. Five hours later, iron ore smelting is complete, your refined iron plus 2O. Take out the refined iron. Finally 1000 fine iron, it's not easy. He breathed a sigh of relief, overjoyed. Take out the storm chariot blueprint. At this point, all the building resources above are fully satisfied. Su Ming looked forward to using the drawings. Immediately, the chariot blueprint in his hand turned into countless light spots, and turned into a stream of light, rushing to the open space of the base. On the open space, a huge phantom light spot emerged, gradually forming the outline of the chariot. As time went by, the phantom gradually shrank and finally solidified. The light spots slowly faded away. A huge chariot appeared in front of Su Ming. The storm chariot is built. Su Ming exclaimed, his eyes nearly popped out. What was placed in front of him was a steel giant, 8 or 9 meters long, about 4 meters wide, and as tall as two people. The whole body of the chariot is navy blue, with white stripes mixed on it, and a faint streamer emerges on the surface. Its appearance is extremely simple, square and upright, with a thick and long gun barrel on the top of the car, it looks like a tank, but even the most advanced tanks look dim in front of it. Rough and heroic, it has the ultimate violent beauty. This is Su Ming's first impression. The huge body is like an embodiment of wildness and domineering, like a giant steel beast that can sweep everything, and like an indestructible mobile fortress. At this time, the attributes of the chariot also came into Su Ming's eyes. Storm Chariot. Level. Level 1. Upgradable. Action Speed. 100 meters per second. Attack Skill. Storm Air Cannon. Defensive Skill. Wind Shield Shield. Inlaid Turret. Zero Quarters. Comma. After reading the panel, Su Ming had a general understanding of the attributes of this Storm Chariot. Offensive and Defensive Integration. It seems that this Storm Chariot is not in its complete form yet. You can also inlay turrets. You can test the power of the chariot tonight. Seeing the sky gradually getting dark, Su Ming thought expectantly. Boom. In Su Ming's base, a chariot as huge as a giant steel beast slowly started. He operated the chariot jerky and moved slowly towards the iron gate. The storm chariot is too big, and the upgraded stone wall is enough to let it drive through the iron gate. 
At this time, Su Ming was sitting in the operating room, staring into the distance through the glass. The interior space of the chariot is very large, except for the operating room, the remaining space is enough for him to live and rest. He can fit a bed in it if he needs to, and he can stock it with supplies. While he was driving the chariot out of the base, the sun had already set and the sky became gray. When the night falls completely and disaster creatures strike, you can try the power of the chariot. He was not in a hurry, and was familiar with various functions in the operating room. The operation of the chariot is still very simple, there are roughly three functions, driving, attack and defense. During this time, he has been basically familiar with the operation methods of these functions. Boom boom boom. Unknowingly, the sky has completely dimmed, and the distance has been completely swallowed by darkness, and you can't see your fingers. Calamity creatures emerged on a large scale in the darkness. As coming, Su Ming squeezed his fist, looking ready to go. Suddenly, he turned his eyes and saw clearly the outlines of disaster creatures in the darkness. It can also have night vision. He was taken aback. This night vision function is different from the light provided by the sentry tower. It can only allow Su Ming to see the outline of objects in the dark, but not the specific image. In the darkness, densely packed disaster creatures were rapidly approaching. Their every move is exposed to Su Ming's eyes, and they cannot be hidden at all. Counting there are about a hundred disaster creatures on this side, that is to say, including other directions, there are about five hundred monsters attacking tonight. After a minute, Su Ming clearly saw that they were about to step into the illumination range of the sentry tower. He drove the chariot unhurriedly, moving forward slowly. Tread tread. At this time, noisy footsteps could be faintly heard from all directions. In the next second, a circle of disaster creatures in the front has been exposed to white light. Tier 3 Dark Hunter. These Dark Hunters have dark skin all over, wearing dark scale armor, and holding crossbow bolts in their hands. In order to test the performance of the chariot, Su Ming has given instructions to all defense towers not to attack the disaster creatures on this side. Therefore, after they appeared, they were unimpeded all the way, and soon they were less than 30 meters away from Su Ming's chariot. At this moment, they suddenly stopped advancing. As soon as the arm was raised, the cold crossbow aimed at its chariot. Call out. At this moment, hundreds of sharp crossbow arrows were shot out neatly. The dense crossbow arrows magnified sharply in Su Ming's pupils, and he wiped the sweat from his palms nervously. Clang, clang. The crossbow arrows were shot on the chariot, and there were crisp metal collision sounds one after another. Then I saw that these crossbow arrows were scattered by the bombs, and there was not even a trace of the place where they were shot. The crossbow arrows fell straight down, and the sharp arrows pierced directly into the ground, half of the body of the arrow penetrated. Call, Su Ming breathed a sigh of relief. Without using the wind shield, relying solely on the defense of the chariot itself can ignore the attack of the third order disaster creatures. Clang, clang. Another round of crossbow arrows was fired at the chariot, but it still didn't even break the defense. At this time, Su Ming had already adjusted the barrel, aiming at the Dark Hunter's position. Storm Air Cannon The moment Su Ming launched the attack, the surrounding air seemed to gather, and strong winds howled all around. A dazzling light suddenly lit up in the thick and long barrel, and shot out. Boom! Su Ming felt the car body shaking, which shocked him greatly. He only felt a stream of light flashing before his eyes, and the ray of light bombarded towards the group of hunters at a speed that was hard to catch with the naked eye. Where the air cannon passed, there was a strong piercing sound, and the void oscillated, as if the space had been blasted apart by this cannon. And on that hard ground, a deep gully was drawn under the attack trajectory of the air cannon. Boom! A flash of light accurately hit the group of dark shooters, and a loud explosion resounded through the sky. The violent shock wave destroyed all creatures in this area almost instantly, the broken corpses burst open, and blood rained down. In the blink of an eye, only a few fringe ones that were not affected were left alive. Su Ming's eyes were filled with shock. This cannon instantly eliminated hundreds of disaster creatures. Although there are reasons for their dense gathering, it is enough to see the terrifying power of this air cannon. After firing this cannon, the air cannon also began to recharge. Storm Air Cannon. Charge Cap. 900 one thousandths. Attack Consumption. 100 Time. Charging Speed. 5 points S. 
It can be seen that with full energy, the air cannon can fire 10 times in a row, and every 20 seconds can meet the energy of one fire. Looks good. Su Ming is very satisfied. After this test, he has a more intuitive understanding of the offense and defense of the storm chariot. If you leave the base in the future, it will be safe to explore farther places. However, to be on the safe side, further testing is required. And the next calamity frenzy is the best time to test it. Ding, you picked up a lot of wood, wood plus 5 oh. Ding, you picked up the flame gem 1. Comma, outside the base, Su Ming drove a storm chariot, slowly picking up today's spoils. Ten minutes later, after picking them up, he drove the chariot back to the base. Push open the heavy and thick car door and walk into the house. A flame gem appeared in his hand, and a red light suddenly appeared in the house. After collecting the loot today, he finally gathered the resources to upgrade the flame tower. Take the drawing in hand. Level 1 Flame Tower Upgrade Blueprint Construction Resources Wood, 1000, Stone, 1000, Iron Ore, 1000, Fire Gem 2, Fire Rune Asterisk 2 All the resources are satisfied, and he directly uses the drawings. The drawing suddenly blurred into endless light spots, and turned into a stream of light pouring into the flame tower. Open the properties of the flame tower, and there is already a column of, upgradable. Prompts on it. Upgrade. As soon as the command was issued, the first level flame tower was surrounded by a white on. Su Ming only saw that the size of the flame tower was slowly getting bigger. After a few minutes, the white light gradually faded away. Ding, your level 1 flame tower has been successfully upgraded. Update completed. A flame tower that is two circles larger than the other two special defense towers appeared. I saw that the patterns engraved on the flame tower are even more varied, patchwork and extremely beautiful. In the middle and upper part of the tower body, two flame gems are shining brightly. Su Ming opened the panel of the flame tower. Flame tower. Type. Special defense tower. Level. Level 2. Attack method. 1. Flame storm. Releases a flame storm that lasts for 10 seconds in the designated area, and the high temperature of the flames will devour all enemy units in the flames. Energy consumed once released. 100. 1000. 2. Flame wall. Release a 40 meters long flame wall in the designated area to block the enemy's attack. Enemy units that step into the flame wall will suffer high and continuous flame burn damage. Consumes 100 firepower per second. Attack range. 400 meters. Charge limit. 0 five thousandths. Charging speed. Increase by 8 points per second. Self plus 5. Module plus 3. Introduction. A special defense tower that can gather and use fire elements to attack. The extreme flame heat will burn all enemies. Remarks. Manual attack and automatic attack can be set. Module. Tier 2 charging module. The upgrade is complete. The attributes of the flame tower have undergone major changes. The attack range is doubled, the charging limit is increased from 1000 to 5000, and the charging speed per second is also increased by 4 points. Of course, what caught Su Ming's attention the most was the new attack method unlocked by the flame tower, the flame wall. According to its description, it is a defensive skill that can divide the battlefield. Full of energy, it can be released for nearly a minute. Of course, the specific power depends on the actual combat effect. In general, the defensive ability of the level 2 flame tower has increased several times compared to the level 1. Then, he opened the construction panel of the arrow tower. Select all the level 2 arrow towers and click directly to upgrade them to white bone arrow towers. Boom, within a minute, these arrow towers were all shrouded in white light, and the rumble of construction sounded one after another on the stone wall. The sound gradually faded, and the white light dissipated. Immediately, all the arrow towers on the stone wall were upgraded to white bone arrow towers. After the upgrade, he has very few construction resources left. Now, the defensive towers in his base already have 100 bone arrow towers, 40 boulder towers, 1 level 2 flame tower, 1 level 1 ice tower and lightning tower. Defense ability soars, coupled with the terrorist attack of the storm chariot. Su Ming is confident that he can defend against thousands of elite monsters. Not to mention those ordinary calamity creatures, they will die as many as they come. Goo. At this time, his stomach started growling. 
Su Ming slapped his head and was so focused on building defensive towers and improving the defense of the base that he forgot to eat dinner. He went into the empty room, took out some vegetables, and went into the kitchen. Suddenly, there was the sound of chopping vegetables in the kitchen. After a few minutes, Su Ming lit a fire and burned oil. He is going to eat boiled pork slices tonight. Meat slices, various vegetables and seasonings are ready on the table. Then, he fiddled in the kitchen for a while. Half an hour later, the kitchen was filled with a fragrant and spicy smell. At this moment, Su Ming came out with a large bowl of boiled pork slices, carefully placing them on the table. I saw this bowl of boiled pork slices, with a layer of red and green peppers and scallions on the surface. The soup looks red and oily, spicy and delicious. Su Ming swallowed, and already moved his index finger. Use chopsticks to poke a layer of chili, pick up a slice of moderately thick meat, and put it in your mouth. In the mouth, the meat slices are tender and delicious. After chewing for a few times, a spicy taste hits the taste buds. The spicy taste bursts directly in the mouth, as if the mouth is full of flames, and it can spew out fire. Beads of sweat appeared on his forehead. It's really spicy and refreshing. Getting up, he took out twice as much frozen spirit juice from the refrigerator and gulped down a big gulp. The cold and sweet juice slipped from the mouth into the esophagus, instantly the whole person felt like jumping into the cold spring water in the hot summer. After drinking the juice, continue to eat. Potato chips, cabbage leaves. Every dish hit his taste buds, and it was extremely refreshing to eat. Twenty minutes later, all the boiled meat slices were eaten, and a large glass of spiritual juice was also drained. After eating and drinking, Su Ming leaned back on the chair, not wanting to move. He took advantage of the opportunity to open the chat channel, ready to pass the time after dinner. Ding ding ding, private messages keep flashing. When he opened it, he straightened up from the backrest. On the private message column, a person named He Chuan sent him a message. Boss Su Ming, I have a blueprint for a special defense tower that I want to trade with you, take a look picture. Special defense tower, Su Ming was shocked. Special defense towers are extremely rare good things, and every special defense tower he built has brought him great help. He quickly opened it to take a look. One poison tower. Type. Special defense tower. Description. One poison tower can continuously absorb poison attribute materials, the more materials absorbed, the stronger the ability of one poison tower. Construction materials. Wood 500, stone 500, iron ore 500, refined iron, 100. Poison attribute defense tower. After reading the introduction, Su Ming discovered that this was a defense tower he had never seen before. Looking at the description, it seems that this 10,000 poison tower can be continuously strengthened as long as it absorbs poison attributed materials. So perverted, Su Ming was stunned, but after thinking about it, he calmed down. Although the 10,000 poison tower can be continuously strengthened, it is not as easy to strengthen as imagined. It is necessary to continuously collect poisonous attribute materials. Who knows how difficult it is to collect those poisonous attribute materials. Thinking of this, he also calmed down. If the other party doesn't open his mouth, he can consider trading. Su Ming replied to the other party lightly, how do you want to trade? After a minute, the other party replied, He Chuan, boss, isn't this 10,000 poison tower very powerful, it can be strengthened all the time. As long as you collect enough poisonous materials, this 10,000 poison tower can be said to be invincible. The other party sent two consecutive sentences, but did not mention the terms of the transaction. Instead, they kept praising the strength of Wandu Tower. After thinking about it, Su Ming understood the other party's thoughts. Su Ming replied, Since you said that the 10,000 Poison Tower is so powerful, why don't you build it yourself? He Chuan paused and said, A. Hey, I originally wanted to build it myself, but it would consume too much construction resources, how could I afford it? And now that the disaster creatures are getting stronger and stronger, I must improve the defense capability of the base as soon as possible, otherwise I may die at any time. It's my best choice to trade construction resources with the construction blueprint of the Wandu Tower. The other party sent a series of messages, expressing their thoughts directly. Su Ming replied, So, how do you want to trade? He Chuan, I need 500 units of wood and stone. 
Seeing this, a sneer appeared on Su Ming's face. Sure enough, this person never mentioned the transaction price, just wanted the lion to open his mouth. Did he take himself for granted? With so many construction resources, he can build ten white bone arrow towers. Isn't it necessary to be stronger than the ten thousand poisonous towers that have no materials? Su Ming, I can't afford so many construction resources, up to two hundred. As soon as the news was sent, the other party became anxious. He Chuan, come on, big brother, I still have a poison attribute material here, and I don't need it, let's trade it together. With photo. Su Ming opened the picture. Toxic liquid. Description. Special poison material, the best material for quenching poison. Good guy. This person also has supporting materials. If he didn't guard against it, wouldn't he be cheated? At this time, another message came from the other side. He Chuan. Boss, the Wandu Tower can be used directly with the highly poisonous liquid. It is completely worth 500 units of wooden stone, not to mention that the Wandu Tower can continue to grow. Su Ming thought about it for a few seconds and thought it was acceptable. Okay, then you can directly initiate the transaction. As soon as the message was sent, within five seconds, the other party sent a transaction message. He Chuan, trading item, one poison tower construction blueprint, highly poisonous liquid. Requirement, wood asterisk 500, stone asterisk 500. Do you agree to the transaction? Agree. After agreeing, the transaction is instantly concluded. In a few seconds, the construction blueprint of the Wandu Tower and the highly poisonous liquid were in hand. All the resources are available, the trouble is the refined iron. He went directly to the smelting furnace and poured pieces of iron ore into it. The iron ore gradually turns into iron juice in the high temperature of the smelting furnace. Su Ming waited silently and opened the chat channel. At night, the bored people sent messages one after another in the channel. Third order calamity creatures started to appear tonight. Ah, you were also attacked by tier 3 monsters. Don't talk about it, the third order monster almost broke the defense of the master's base. What the hell, it was a third order flying monster that attacked me, and I was killed only after destroying my five arrow towers. Brother, you are too miserable. Hey, I feel that every time there is a calamity frenzy, the next calamity creatures will be stronger. It will be more and more difficult to survive in the future. Comma, many people complained in the chat channel, Su Ming watched silently for an hour. At this time, a notification sounded. Smelting complete. Su Ming immediately closed the chat channel. At this time, the iron ore in the smelting furnace had condensed into stronger refined iron. He took out the refined iron from the furnace, and at this time he also collected 100 refined iron. The Wan Poison Tower can be built. Su Ming took out the construction blueprint of the Wandu Tower and started to build it directly. In an instant, the drawing turned into countless light spots, forming a huge phantom on the city wall. A few seconds later, the phantom condensed into reality. Ding, the construction of the Wandu Tower is complete. As soon as the notification tone fell, Su Ming looked around. On top of the stone wall, a tall defensive tower stands next to the Lightning Tower. It is indeed the Wandu Tower. The whole body of the Wandu Pagoda is uneven, engraved with a series of wonderful white lines. Glancing at its property panel, a column appeared on the panel. One poison tower inactive. Need poison attribute materials to activate. Su Ming guessed, and at the same time took out the poisonous liquid and tried to get close to it. Ding, poisonous material was detected, is it absorbed? Absorbed. Su Ming's eyes blinked, and the highly poisonous liquid in his hand turned into a stream of light and poured into the 10,000 poison tower. Immediately, he saw that the surface of Wandu Pagoda was suddenly covered by a layer of green light. After a while, the green light slowly merged into the 10,000 poison tower. At this moment, Su Ming saw a white pattern on the tower body, which was slowly emitting a dark green light. Wan Poison Tower has been activated. Hearing this, Su Ming looked at his panel expectantly. Wan Poison Tower. Type. Special Defense Tower. Level. LV1. The number of poisonous materials absorbed. One third absorbing three materials can be upgraded. Attack method. Highly poisonous mist. One poison tower will eject highly poisonous mist, 
causing continuous poison attribute damage within a range of 10 m asterisk 10 meters additional effect debilitating consumes 50 points of energy per second attack range 200 meters charge limit 0 one thousandths charging speed 5 per second description the initially unlocked one poison tower has a weaker poison attack but it can be continuously strengthened by absorbing poison attributed materials the more types of materials absorbed the stronger the one poison tower's ability remarks manual attack and automatic attack can be set module tier 2 charging module after watching the panel su ming's eyes flickered wandu tower can also enjoy the bonus of charging modules and the wandu tower gave him the feeling that it was a defensive tower that could grow as long as the materials were collected it could always become stronger you only need to collect two more poisonous materials to upgrade with this in mind he opened the trading platform and a bunch of trading information appeared on it he directly entered the keyword of poison attribute material and clicked search immediately there was very little information left on the panel su ming looked at them one by one and finally found only one matching material pearl of corrosion description a special poisonous material with a strong corrosive effect which is an indispensable material for making some special items requirements 100 wood the price is okay not too expensive but this person hung up for three days without a successful transaction obviously not easy to sell if he hadn't built the wandu pagoda he probably wouldn't have bought such a dangerous and weird item spend 100 wood the transaction is successful and you have obtained the orb of corrosion a few seconds later a dark black bead emerged ding poisonous material was detected is it absorbed absorbed immediately the pearl of corrosion merged into the 10,000 poison tower and on the tower body another streak lighted up exuding a faint light at the same time su ming discovered that the effect of the poisonous mist of wandu pagoda had changed attack method highly poisonous mist one poison tower will eject highly toxic mist causing continuous poison attribute damage within a range of 12 m asterisk 12 meters additional effects weakening corrosion not only has the scope expanded but the additional effect has a corrosion effect it looks stronger only one material is needed to upgrade su ming scanned the trading platform again but failed turning off the platform su ming yawned lay down on the big rosewood bed and fell asleep after a while when i woke up the sun was shining the sun was just right he was lying on the wicker chair and the sun was shining on his body making him feel warm and comfortable gradually the sun went down and the temperature dropped the breeze blows and there is a feeling of coolness it's going to be dark so soon seeing the gradually gray sky su ming jumped up from the rattan chair you can try the power of the wandu tower and the bone arrow tower tonight in less than a few minutes, the sky was completely dark, only the sentry tower still exuded a faint light. Ho ho ho! In the boundless silence and darkness, a frightening roar suddenly sounded. Clusters of green light flickered endlessly in the darkness where you couldn't see your fingers. In less than a minute, at the junction of darkness and white light, hideous monsters emerged like a tide. Third Order Blood Striped Python. Hiss. It was a long and thick boa constrictor with blood-red scales and black lines on its body. At this moment, they swallowed snake letters one after another, their pairs of cold vertical pupils exuded an aura of indifference, and their huge bodies kept twisting at a rapid speed. Su Ming looked at these pythons indifferently, already controlling the Wandu Pagoda and launched an attack. Poisonous Mist Among the dense group of pythons, puffs of thick green mist suddenly emerged, directly enveloping them all. Chi Chi, minus 352, minus 348, minus 367. Pieces of damage value floated up in the mist. The speed of the blood striped python attacked by Wandu Tower slowed down, and the sturdy scales on its body were corroded to the point of cracks. Your Wandu Tower killed the third order blood striped python, points plus 30. In the area shrouded in the highly poisonous mist, the lives of blood striped pythons were harvested. In a few seconds, most of the enveloped pythons were motionless and lost their vitality. At this time, two blood-striped pythons twisted their thick and long bodies and rushed out. Su Ming looked and found that the scales on their bodies were festered, and there were wounds everywhere, exposing the flesh and bones. Whoosh! 
the sound of breaking through the air rang in Su Ming's ears. At this moment, the white bone arrow tower volleyed away. Ten arrows per second. Countless arrows shot out like a torrential rain, covering the surrounding blood-striped pythons in an instant. Su Ming turned his gaze and found that the shape of these arrows had changed. The body of the arrow is all gray and white, but the arrowhead is gleaming with black light, which is extremely conspicuous. Puff! In the next second, dozens of arrows hit the two injured blood-striped pythons. The sharp arrows pierced directly through the wounds and pierced into their bodies. Immediately, blood spattered everywhere. Your bone arrow tower killed the third order blood striped python, points plus 30. Ding, bone arrow tower triggers passive, power of bone. Su Ming was taken aback. Then he saw a bone warrior with thick bones crawling up from the body of the blood striped python. The whole body of this bone warrior is made up of thick bones. He holds a thick bone shield in his left hand and a huge bone knife in his right hand. In the empty eye sockets, there were two groups of green flames, and it was standing there blankly, looking at Su Ming. Somehow, Su Ming felt that he had a connection with this bone warrior. It seems to be able to control it. Su Ming was a little surprised, is this the passive of the bone arrow tower? It took a closer look and saw its attributes. Bone warrior. Level. First order. Ability. Bone rebirth. After receiving fatal damage for the first time, it will be turned into a piece of bone, and will recondense after 5 seconds. After rebirth, the HP will be halved. Duration. 5 minutes. The level is only one level, the strength is very weak, and even if he is not killed, he can only survive for 5 minutes, completely cutting off Su Ming's idea of gathering troops. But it has the ability to regenerate from broken bones, which can slightly delay the attack of disaster creatures in battle. It's so tasteless. Su Ming gave an evaluation, and controlled the bone warrior to attack a blood-striped python next to him. Ka ka ka. The sound of bones rubbing against each other continuously resounded from the bone warrior's body, and he chopped through with the bone knife. The bone knife drew an arc in the air, and slashed hard at the blood-striped python. With a crisp sound of, dang, the bone knife left a shallow mark on the scales of the blood-patterned python. Just when it raised the bone knife and continued to slash, a huge snake tail suddenly drew over. Snapped. The bone warrior stretched out his hand and used the shield, and the shield was broken into several pieces, and then the snake's tail slammed into it. Crash. The bone warrior instantly turned into bones all over the place. Hiss. Seeing this, the blood-striped python vomited twice, turned its cold eyes, and continued to rush towards the base. Just as it twisted its body forward, it suddenly felt a pain in its tail. Turning around, it turned out to be that annoying skeleton just now. It flicked its tail, and then swept away suddenly. Snapped. This time, the bones of the bone warrior were directly broken by the whipping, and the flames in the eye sockets flickered twice and then went out. Died. Su Ming glanced over. This bone warrior is too weak to feel useless. In a blink of an eye, he froze. Outside the base, Beside the piled blood-striped python corpses, more than a dozen bone warriors suddenly appeared. Looking at other places, at this moment, there are dozens of bone warriors scattered around the base. The conversion probability is a bit high. It is possible to transform a bone warrior by killing three or four of them in the bone arrow tower. Su Ming estimated, outside the base, bone warriors fearlessly attack the blood-striped python. Su Ming watched their battle, and suddenly his eyes lit up. Those bone warriors seemed to have the ability to taunt, as soon as it approached, the nearby blood-striped pythons attacked them one after another. He also saw that several blood-striped pythons had advanced more than 10 meters, and suddenly turned back to attack the newly reborn bone warrior behind them. This further confirmed his conjecture. These transformed bone warriors have similar taunting skills. The key is that they can also be completely controlled by themselves. In this case, the role of the bone warrior will be great. When fighting, it can be used as a shit stick to pull hatred everywhere, and it can even affect the entire battle situation if used properly. With this in mind, he controlled 10 bone warriors to run in the opposite direction of the base. The blood-striped pythons around glanced at the base, then turned to chase the bone warrior. A few seconds later, these bone warriors were beaten into a pool of bones. These blood-striped pythons turned to attack Su Ming's base again. Kaka, 
After walking for a few seconds, the bone warriors behind them were suddenly reborn, and the blood-striped python turned back to attack again. Su Ming somewhat understood the function of this broken bone rebirth. It is simply the top skill of pulling. One to one to go, a minute passed. These blood-striped pythons are still spinning in place. If Su Ming hadn't stopped his defensive towers from attacking, within this minute, there would be nothing left of those blood-striped pythons that would have died long ago. This passive is awesome, Su Ming praised. After the test, he directly ordered all the defense towers to attack. Swish, whoosh, the boulder tower and the bone arrow tower are fully fired. In less than a minute, all the blood-striped pythons were killed. At this time, Su Ming drove the storm chariot slowly out of the base. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.